In today's Pokemon Presents, we got a bunch of new updates for Pokemon Scarlet and Violet with seven new Pokemon revealed and two DLC packs coming later this year. We're gonna cover all of the details in today's video. But before we get into today's video, please subscribe to the channel. Remember, you can always unsubscribe later if you would like to. I am still catching my breath like I bet a lot of you are as well with the news that dropped today in regards to the two DLCs and the new Pokemon that have been revealed. So let's hop over to the Pokemon Scarlet and Violet website which has finally been updated with all of the information. To start with we've got two brand new Pokemon, two Paradox Pokemon, Suicune and Verizian Walking Wake for Suicune's Paradox form and Iron Leaf for Verizian's Paradox form. They are available to get in game right now in the brand new Terror Raid that's running at the moment. We've covered this on the channel, you can check out all the details, I'll link it up at the top right hand corner for you now so you can go in and get these Pokemon yourself that is running from February the 27th as of recording this video until Sunday the 12th of March to get both of these exclusive Pokemon in your games. The other big news is that the 1.2.0 patch is now live in Pokemon Scarlet and Violet. This has a bunch of bug fixes. Again, in our 1.2.0 video that we did on the channel, we covered all of the patch notes which are available to go through and see all of the fixes that you'll be able to experience with this new update in your games. Fixing things like play rough, damage in terror raid battles and terror raid battles in general where the HP ball goes below zero but then comes back again. These things will be fixed as well as game crashes and random other things that will be affecting players when they go into Scarlet and Violet. So that is available in your games now. If you want to get it in your game, you want to be hovering over your game icon like this and press the plus icon. This will bring up this screen. The version underneath the title, what version you're on. So you want to be on 1.2.0 is the latest one. But if you haven't got that, just click on software update via the internet and then it will download it in your game and it will update so you're going to be able to enjoy all of these new raid events, other features that have been implemented. And along with these new Paradox Pokemon, we do have a bunch of other Pokemon in celebration of the new two DLCs that we've just had announced. We've got the Teal Mask which will be part one DLC and then we've got the Indigo Disc which is going to be part two. The Teal Mask will be coming out this fall so around September times and then in the winter we are going to be expecting to get the Indigo Disc. The new Pokemon that will be featured in both of these DLCs. We've got Ogapon. I hope I'm pronouncing that right, probably not. And then we've got Therapagos which is the Disc Pokemon which was described from Heath's notes from the Scarlet and Violet book. So very interesting to see that this will be the disc Pokemon, turtle Pokemon, and interesting as well that it's got all of the elemental types on its back there as well. All the different types of Pokemon are displayed here, giving it a very big tie into Terra types as we know it is linked to terrestrialization in some way, shape or form. We've got Okadoji, which is a bear kind of dog looking Pokemon. It looks very cool though, very mean. We've got Monkadori, and then we've got Fezendipity, which are the three new Pokemon. They're featured in the trailer quite heavily as well and kind of indicate that these might be additional starter Pokemon that you get to choose from when you go into it. But that is, of course, just speculation for now. As you can see from the description here in the Teal Mask, three Pokemon named, this is going to be a mouthful, Okadoji, Monkadori, and Fezendipity appear. They are beloved by the people of the village as heroes that protect the land of Kitakami in the past. And the stone statues were made and their likeness to express the people's gratitude towards these three Pokemon. So these are, yeah, like I say, they could be starter Pokemon or they could just be Pokemon that we get as part of the DLC pack. Anyway, these are featured as part of the DLC pack. And then your chance to encounter familiar Pokemon that didn't appear in Pokemon Scarlet and Violet. In part one, the Teal Mask, and part two, the Indigo Disc, you'll be able to encounter over 230 familiar Pokemon that have been found living on other regions, but which have not appeared in Pokemon Scarlet and Violet. As for which Pokemon will appear in part one, the Teal Mask, and part two, the Indigo Disc, please look forward to finding out in your game. Note, the number above includes Pokemon that you'll be able to bring into your game via Pokemon Home or receive in trades. So these Pokemon that you can bring in via Pokemon Home, which we know about what Pokemon are compatible with Pokemon Scarlet and Violet, will be available within these two regions as well for everyone to catch. These include Pokemon like 
Metagross, a big fan favorite. Whimsicott as well, and Melotic, Ninetales, and Vikavolt as well. So a bunch of Pokemon that were featured here, but we're gonna get 230 altogether that will be available across both DLC packs. But these are the new Pokemon that we've got and let me know what you think of them down below. I really like the designs of them. They've got a very specific look to them, but I really like how these new Pokemon look and I'm excited to get a hold of them in the games. These new legendaries, what we're expecting to be legendaries anyway, look very cool and not what I was expecting at all and quite pleasantly surprised. So I would love to hear your thoughts on all of these. New we did get some new characters introduced as well. The Teal Mask, you put on traditional Jimbe outfit and take part in the festival that's held annually in the village in part two the indigo disc you'll don the uniform of the blueberry academy as an exchange student and get a taste of student life at a new school so these are the new outfits that we're going to get in part one the teal mask which is pretty cool but different from the school outfits that we've got right now and then we've got the blueberry academy uniform which is very futuristic and uh, very reminiscent of both scarlet and violet the past kind of traditional more outfits and then the futuristic outfits for Pokemon Violet, but we're gonna be able to access both of them in different DLC packs. The new characters you'll meet. As your adventure unfolds, you will meet a variety of characters. Let's meet Kieran and Carmine, a brother and sister who appear in both part one and part two. These two call Kitakami home and they attend the Blueberry Academy as students. So it seems like we're gonna go to Kitakami and then we're gonna have a story that proceeds on to the Blueberry Academy through meeting these characters. Carmine, the elder sister of the pair, is strong-willed and can be a little selfish, but she always looks out for her brother, even if she isn't the best at showing it. Word is that she can be chilly towards people from other regions. Her little brother Kieran has a quiet, gentle nature and often hides behind his big sister. It seems he's curious about you though when you arrive from the Paldea region. So this is Carmine and this is Kieran. I was expecting them to be these two here, but no, we've got two new characters here. Carmine who is a bit chilly towards outsiders and then we've got Kieran as well who's a bit shy and neat. But they're the two characters who will link, I guess, the two DLC packs together in some shape, form or way. So then the new characters and then we've got a bit more information about Kitakami and the Blueberry Academy. And then we've got this artwork here which has got the masked Pokemon here as well as the three statue Pokemon from Kitakami. Part one, the teal mask, you will be chosen as one of the students to take part in a school trip that is held each year in collaboration with another school. It will take you to the land of Kitakami, a great mountain towers over the land of Kitakami and the people live at its base. It is a place of tranquil nature expanses featuring rice paddies and apple orchards, a new and different experience compared to the Paldea region. Your trip seems to coincide with a festival regularly held in the village in Kitakami during this season so the village is bustling with various street vendors and stalls. You'll meet new friends and Pokemon as you unravel the mysteries behind the folk tales that have been passed down in this land. And there's some more official artwork that's of the Blueberry Academy. Studying abroad at the Blueberry Academy where Pokemon battling flourishes. In part two, the Indigo Disc, you will travel to your academy's sister school, the Blueberry Academy, as an exchange student. Unlike your academy with its long storied history, Blueberry Academy is a school that was established in recent years and its curriculum puts a particular emphasis on Pokemon battling. Most surprisingly of all is the fact that most of the school's buildings is located under the ocean, which is very cool. I love that and very tying in with like a turtle Pokemon as well under the sea and things like that. You will take part in classes, interact with local students and experience school life in this unusual academy. So they are the two and that's the information that we've got so far about these and how to purchase. So right now you can go onto the eShop and get the DLC packs. There are two different versions of the hidden treasure of Area Zero. These are the Pokemon Scarlet, the hidden treasures of Area Zero and Pokemon Violet, the hidden treasures of Area Zero. The version you will need will vary depending on whether you have Pokemon Scarlet or Pokemon Violet. Players of Pokemon Scarlet should purchase the Pokemon Scarlet hidden treasures of Area Zero and vice versa. If you've got Violet, you want to purchase the Violet pack. So that makes just a bit of sense. You don't want to be purchasing the other versions DLC pack. If you've not got that version, it will probably not work. If you do not get the version that matches your 
premium game, you won't be able to use the DLC. So yeah, keep that in mind. Purchase via Nintendo eShop, you can purchase both versions in the DLC from the Nintendo eShop. If you select the downloadable content banner in your X menu in the Pokemon Scarlet and Violet game, you can visit the purchase page for the Hidden Treasures of Area Zero. Note, in order to purchase Hidden Treasures of Area Zero from this game menu, you must have updated your Pokemon Scarlet game to version 1.2.0 or higher. Purchase a download card or download code. So these are just ways that you can buy it. We plan to sell download cards and download codes for the hidden treasures of Area Zero, Pokemon Scarlet and Violet, so stay in tune for more details. Get the apparel items with the new uniform set. When you purchase the hidden treasures of Area Zero, you can claim the new uniform set, which contains apparel you can use immediately in your Pokemon Scarlet and Violet video games. These apparel items can, of course, be used in hidden treasure Area Zero as well. The new uniform sets include uniforms from spring, summer, autumn, and winter. Please note that the contents of the new uniform set will differ between Pokemon Scarlet and Pokemon Violet, which makes a lot of sense because the uniforms differ slightly anyway. Note that after purchasing the Hidden Treasure of Area Zero, you can claim your apparel items by opening the X menu, then selecting the downloadable content banner button at the bottom right of the menu. A Nintendo Switch Online membership is not required. For and you can also get a special Hisui in Zorok as an early purchase bonus. If you purchase the Hidden Treasures of Area Zero for Pokemon Scarlet or Violet, you'll be able to get a Hisui in Zorok that knows an unusual move in your Pokemon Scarlet or Violet game. Make your purchase by Tuesday the 31st of October and you'll be given a serial code for this special gift. Serial code distribution period until the 31st of October. Serial code valid until Thursday the February the 29th, 2024. So you've got a, a lot of time to use this code if you do get it. Now the Hisuian Zorok has three special features. It knows Happy Hour, which cannot learn through normal gameplay, along with Terabast, Bitter Malice, and Nasty Plot. Its terror typing is dark. It has the Charismatic Mark as well, which is a nice feature for it. Note you may be able to get Hisuian Zorak in different ways in the future, through home compatibility, of course. You will need to connect your Nintendo Switch system to the internet to claim the early purchase bonus. And that is all of the information on how you can get the DLC packs in your game and get the early purchase bonuses. All in all, I'm very excited about all the information that came out today. These new Pokemon look very cool. It's nice to have a picture of the disc Pokemon after all this time of the speculation from the Skull and Violet books as well as something I totally didn't see coming from the Teal Mask in that whole Kitakami village whole DLC storyline and I think it's just going to be really fun and exciting to uncover the secrets of Area Zero in both of these DLCs. But of course friends let me know what you think of all of the new announcements for Scarlet and Violet down below. Are you excited for the new DLCs? It wasn't what I was expecting but I'm looking forward to all of them and I really like the look of all the new Pokemon and excited to get my hands on them and see what they're like in game. Thank you so much for tuning in. If you've enjoyed today's video please drop a like and do subscribe to the channel for more Pokemon Scarlet and Violet content and I will see you all in another video very soon. Happy Pokemon Day and take care. See you again.